Welcome back to The Lead. I'm Jake Tapper. We're back with our buried lead now. That's what we call stories we do not think are getting enough attention. In this case, of course, it's literally someone at the State Department trying to bury something, hiding it from you. In this case, it was an acknowledgment by the Obama administration of having lied to reporters, a scrubbing of the public record, and it should outrage every American. The story begins in February 2013, when James Rosen, a reporter for Fox News, asked then State Department spokesperson Victoria Newland if there had been direct, secret, bilateral talks with Iran. This was her response. With regard to the kind of thing that you're talking about on a government-to-government -government level, no. Now, flash forward months later, December 2013, Mr. Rosen pointed out to Newland's successor, Jen Psaki, that senior State Department officials had, in fact, had direct secret bilateral talks with Iran, as Saki had previously acknowledged. So the State Department had lied to him and to you. Is it the policy of the State Department where the preservation of the secrecy of secret negotiations are concer is concerned to lie in order to achieve that goal? Uh, James, I think uh, there are times where diplomacy needs uh, privacy in order to progress. Now, the implication there from Jen Psaki, sometimes governments need to deceive the press and the public to achieve goals. Now, flash forward to earlier in May, when Rosen discovered that his exchange with Psaki, in which she acknowledged the State Department lied to the public, that exchange had been edited out of the official video of that day's briefing. Now, it seemed obvious that something was afoot. But here is how State Department spokesperson Elizabeth Trudeau explained the missing video on May 10th of this year. There was a glitch in the State Department video. A glitch, a defect, a, a technical malfunction. Now flash forward three weeks, and here is State Department spokesman John Kirby just yesterday. We learned that there was a deliberate uh, request, that this wasn't a technical glitch. This was a deliberate request to excise video. Wow. So, in fact, someone at the State Department asked an editor to go into this video already posted on the State Department website and remove several minutes of it from the archive. To recap, there was first a lie told to us about the secret talks between Iran and the Obama administration. We'll call that lie number one. Now, Jen Psaki acknowledged lie number one later that year, 2013, but then someone removed that acknowledgement from the official video. Let's refer to the scrubbing as lie number two. And then three weeks ago, we were lied to again with the whole glitch thing. We'll call that lie number three. Now, when asked who had made the request to delete the video, lie number two, Mr. Kirby said that the editor only knew that the caller was passing on a request from the Public Affairs Bureau. Jen Psaki is now at the White House. She has vociferously denied any knowledge of the edit. And when asked why the editor complied with the request, this was what Mr. Kirby had to say. There were no rules governing this sort of action in the past. Uh, so again, um, I, I find no reason to, to press forward uh, with a more formal or deeper investigation. There are so many questions about all three of these lies, including whether the initial lie had anything to do with the administration-pushed narrative of the Iran deal sold to the public, that this all came about in large part because Hassan Rouhani, supposedly some sort of moderate, was elected president of Iran in June 2013, after line number one, which denied the talks were going on, before Rouhani was elected. But before we can get into why lies number one, two, and three happened, the Obama administration needs to understand that it's not acceptable just to leave this where it is. Just as the public has a right to know the truth, we have a right to know who lied to us and why.